o'clock, Monday night, UK time. Nine o'clock if you're in Europe, like I'm in Stockholm. So I am doing my second to last fundraiser for Women's Aid, an amazing charity in the UK who support uh, women and children. Um, in domestic abuse situations um, and I've been this is number 15 oh my goodness number 15 I can't believe it so um, I'm cooking um, with a lovely guest you'll find out who in a minute um, all in support of women's aid if you would like to donate you can do so via my profile really easy just go to my profile and there's a link if you don't have the possibility of donating um, you can simply like comment share the video um, that helps loads. So, right, who do we have tonight? Well, we have the lovely Alexandra. Let's see if she's there. Okay, yes. Let's see if that will work. Fingers crossed. Have I done that right? <laughs> I don't think I should know by now. Yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So for anybody who doesn't know Alexandra, you have to go check out Alexandra's Instagram. Fabulous. You do a great podcast too, which I still haven't had the opportunity to I go know. on. This is the year. 2022 will be the year. Exactly. Exactly. It's almost like, uh, you know, uh, ship, what did you say? Yep. Ship, um, ship in the night. Ship in the yes, night. exactly. Oh my goodness. It's like first words, like we're doing charades. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, dearie me. It's Monday and I'm going already mad. It's, it's a great start to the week. It's been a long Monday as well. Yes, it feels like that. It, it feels like a long Monday. Yeah. Um, right. So we are going to try and cook tonight's recipe in 16 minutes. We can and the do reason it. Why, yes, I think we can. And the reason why we're doing it in 16 minutes is to highlight the 1.6 million women who reported abuse in 2020. Uh, awful statistic but there you go uh it's out there so we want to do it in 16 minutes so what are we actually making tonight alexandra so we're making it i mean it's, we'll definitely do it in 60 minutes it's yeah. blood orange and radicchio salad two really delicious ingredients in season right now as well if you don't have blood oranges normal oranges are completely fine so don't worry about that um, okay i put the time on 16 minutes we're good oh, yeah I just wanted to say if anybody has any questions and Alexandra is really good at like lots of entertaining tips. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just put you in there. <laughs> you always have such fabulous great ideas. I mean, this is a classic example of a great idea. If you're entertaining, you know, there is Valentine's coming yeah. up next week. This is like beautiful colors, really easy to do. Super tasty. Um, yeah, so I guess we better start making it. What would really so, you do first? So I'm going to just tilt my screen down a yeah, little bit. So and see what's going in the bowl, hopefully. There we go. That looks good to me. So I'm gonna, we're going to start with the dressing first. So Okay. Quite a, quite a zippy dressing, but we've got just yep. olive oil, starting with some olive oil, about four tablespoons, but you can okay. kind of plug it in. A little, my olive oil is going in. Yeah. There you go. And then some pomegranate molasses, which I really love. Really yeah. yummy, zippy, kind of sweet, kind of yeah. not bitter. Two of those going in. Oh, that means I used to have so, it. Um, somebody just asked what your Instagram is, and it's basically just your name, isn't it? It's just my name. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> really it's super simple. simple. But don't worry, everybody. I always tag the people in the video so you, you could just click on it uh, when I post the video it's super super easy right so I've just put my pomegranate molasses in what's going in next then you want some apple cider vinegar yeah okay that's going in uh I love apple food. cider vinegar yeah really yummy you could use white wine vinegar it might just not yeah. have as much sweetness but totally okay. fine and then I'm gonna move yeah. this aside. we've got some coriander seeds whole coriander seeds which look really lovely like that and you want to have toasted them just a little bit in a dry pan both done it's, it's super key you toast it isn't it otherwise yeah. if you don't toast it it doesn't you don't release all the lovely flavors yeah and you can smell they should smell lovely and then you want to crush oh. them. a little tip if you don't have one of these mm. you can also use the back of a rolling pin to do it just like yes. a star or a bowl and just get them down 
Um, oh my goodness, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so amazing when you start to crush the like the seeds. Um, I love using coriander seeds. Actually, I think it's yeah. a bit underrated like, in it. using Me dressing. Too. Me too. So, yeah. so, so I'm just gonna throw it into my dressing mix. Throw it in. Correct. Exactly. Throw it in. Okay. And then you want to yeah. whisk that all together for okay. probably, probably easier. I've got a little whiskey thing. Yeah, I'll do you. Very smurdy. <laughs> so then we can just let that sit. And then we've got okay. our radicchio. So you've already yeah. torn yours. But I would just yeah. say it's quite nice to, yeah, exactly. Leave the leaves whole and big and lovely. Yeah. And just tear, just tear it in if you haven't done yeah. already. Or if you're very organised, chuck it in. <laughs> I quite like to, this is like, when I make a salad, I always like to, um, like, wash the salad leaves and, like, I have a little salad spinner. I sound really geeky. But there's no! There's worse than you know, soggy it's, salad. It's, it's, do you know, because it's such a tight lettuce, I hardly ever yeah. wash this. But I oh, always okay. wash Yeah. It's more the outer leaves. Yeah, outer leaves always peel yeah. them away. Yeah. So, but I mean, these are so beautiful. Look at that color. So beautiful. And then it when it gets really, that yeah. bit, just kind of cut that and you can sort of I mean, just... Can you hear that sound? Super crunchy as well. So nice. <laughs> that goes in. And then have you already chopped your blood oranges too? No, I haven't. I, I thought I'll do a little bit uh, on camera. So yeah, A little bit on site. A little bit on site. Yeah, exactly. And I am absolutely addicted to oranges at the moment. I, I eat several a day. Um, it's like, I feel like I'm a, a sports mum because I just cut loads of wedges and like I have this big bowl Ew, and I just end up eating like wedges of oranges throughout the day. So uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Raise that a little so, bit. I don't think I've had a... Um, an orange wedge in years. You haven't had it? Oh my goodness, bring no. them back. Bring the orange wedges back. Bring them back, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you should be able to see really easy. I mean, most people know how to chop oranges, but it's quite nice to do top and bottom and then just slide your knife around, kind of turning it. And then you can cut these either way, really. I tend to just cut it nice big circles so you really get to oh, see the colours. Okay. Yeah. All right. I've gone, I've gone, uh, you've got segments. Gone segments. So, uh, also, like I, I could also switch it up. I mean, um, blood oranges have such a beautiful kind of speckling of red. So in lovely. Them. Yeah. Actually, I went to the supermarket the other day and I spotted chocolate oranges. You try, I mean, not like the chocolate orange, like the actual chocolate orange beginning with P. Yeah. Like orange, but in the supermarket, they call them chocolate oranges. They're kind of green on the outside, green and orange. And do they taste, oh God, wow, do they taste chocolatey? Is that the idea? <laughs> no, they don't. It's a bit of a, like, I don't know why they call them chocolate oranges in Sweden. <laughs> Maybe it's That's a Swedish so thing. Because in Sweden, you don't have, um, the cho you know, the chocolate orange you guys have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I love um, chocolate orange. Okay, so nice. You can either segment them or I'm just going to cut them sort of. Yeah. Disc wise, I tend to do it, you know, for selfish reasons, so that then I'm sure I can get a really big bit when I'm serving it. <laughs> I, I, it's good to you could have options, you know, yeah, do it how you, how you feel is right for you. Depends how yeah. much time I've got as well. Exactly. I mean, this is just something you could easily do in advance. So if if so, you're like, okay, I don't want to do too much uh, cooking when I've got my guests, it's yeah. just you could just segment everything beforehand and keep them in a little container. Exactly. It's really easy. Oh my goodness, this like, I really need to squat because you just see the top, top of me. My goodness, my thigh muscles today. So then, just toss it with your hands. Yeah. Get nice and in there. The colors already, the orange with the red. With the red. It's really amazing. Fun. It's also really yeah. nice with a bit of mozzarella thrown into it as well. Ooh, like the sound of that. So then, I mean, you can leave it in your bowl, or I'm gonna yeah. sort of put it, put it onto like a nice big platter. Okay. And then sort of pop those blood oranges. So just like, because I segmented mine, I've got the core in the middle, and you can actually just squeeze out the juice. So nice. You know the so bit. So nice. Yeah. 
so you can don't waste that bit of a uh, orange juice and then so, yeah. you don't have to do this but so a bit of green is quite nice it doesn't have to be mint it could be any green herb but a little just yeah. i like to just tear a bit of mint even leaving the leaves whole if they're nice like small leaves just chuck them okay. on gives it a bit of color some toasted hazelnuts as well with the this on here quite nice i would i, I would go with pumpkin tea if you Ooh. wanted to add a bit more green Do yeah also work that yeah work, but like so yeah um if i would say if you're making this advance i wouldn't dress it too far like i would just dress it when you want to eat it you can also Probably. just lay the kind of blood oranges over the top if you want to keep a little bit more of their color okay right i'm gonna get the leaves on i'm a bit slow today <laughs> it's all the squatting <laughs> the mint sounds amazing okay all right so we're all she's there. back i'm gonna lift up my screen so you can see my face a bit more <laughs> right i think i'm just gonna wipe my hands and then i can lift my screen too Ooh. yeah and also it's got loads of height so people often ask about like how to make sounds yeah. a bit more interesting this one's got so much height so it's kind of it's not dramatic but i would say it definitely adds a bit of drama to the table which we love yeah. we love drama good kind of drama yum um it's a, a voluminous voluminous did you say that love it <laughs> take it <laughs> it's got a lot of volume this salad yeah you know. <laughs> that's it oh my goodness that was like less than you know six minutes there I mean, if you cut away the chatting, you could probably make it in three minutes flat. <laughs> I mean, you could definitely also make the dressing and then like, have it in a kind of nice, in a jam jar or something and just shake it up as well. Um, it's super easy, isn't it? That yeah. good old jam jar salad dressing trick. Yeah. Wow. But look at this, everyone. We made this beautiful, beautiful, colourful, fresh, zingy salad with radicchio, blood oranges, and a delicious kind of coriander pomegranate dressing. Alexandra, this looks amazing. Thank you so much. Thank, um, thank you to everyone who tuned in, all in support of Women's Aid, who are an amazing charity really to uh, help women and children in domestic abuse situations. If you have the opportunity, please go donate via my profile page. Go check out Alexandra's Instagram. I will tag Alexandra, so don't worry. When I post a video, you just click on it. Super simple. In the meantime, Thank you everyone for watching and Thanks I will everyone. see you See you very week. soon. Yeah, see you very soon. And next week for anybody who's tuning in, it won't be on Monday because Monday's Valentine's and I'm busy. It'll yeah. be on Thursday. <laughs> I'm glad you're busy. That's nice to know.